Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to speak about astrophyte mirror stigma and more in particular the distinct types of epidermis we find in this species. Let's start of course by the wild type. This is a nice old specimen where you can typically see the very fine dotted epidermis. In the wild, this epidermis protects the plant about the, against the burning sun. Apart from these densely dotted uh, wild types, you also find the nudum variety. This variety has no dots, so it doesn't have the necessary protection against uh, burning sunlight. It's also the reason why, in at least in my greenhouse, I see more plants that suffer from, from burnings than on normal plants. Very few plants over all species I have suffer from sunburn. This is one of very few plants that do suffer from it if I don't put it in an uh, adequate place. After decades of breeding, mainly in Japan, several new types have been developed. One of the most uh, common varieties is the onzuka. This is a nice example of what onzuka means. Onzuka does have the very uh, wide epidermis, especially when looking from a distance. Also the flex are quite big compared to the wild type. Apart from this onzuka, I have another onzuka here, being almost completely covered in the wild, wide spots. This is the slowest growing mirror stigma I have, also the, the whitest one. Very nice plant, if, if I can judge. Now I show you another type of onzuka. This is onzuka combined with hakun. Hakun means cloudy sky. Clouds in the sky usually are very irregular. Also this plant, you see here, you have accumulations of the white dots. This is said to be caused by some virus or phytoplasma. I'm not sure which one of the two is, is causing it, but it is a, an organism affecting the plant and causing more white flecks on the epidermis. So this is being transmitted by grafting and other means uh, where there can be transmission of plant liquids between one plant and another one. Another example of Hakun, you see some spots, it's, it's not a normal phenotype because then the spots would be very fine and regular, regular distributed all over the plant body. Here you see some accumulations, meaning this is a hakun. But the main reason of showing this plant is because it's a variegata. Variegata is some type of a chimera plant. We have two types of tissues. Here a green and a red tissue. Some plants can be uh, yellow. I have even seen purple ones. So actually, most important for variegata is you have several tissue types. So the green and the colored one. The colored one is a tissue lacking uh, um, chlorophyll so these types so these regions are not doing photosynthesis and actually are parasitic on the green uh, tissues another type that is sometimes confused is this this is called koyo koyo is a is, is a color where the green it is appearing some periods in the year. So, Variegata is permanent. Koyo is dependent on the moment of the year. Also, solar exposure is affecting uh, the grade of, um, yeah, of intensity of it. But these types I have shown today are the main epidermis variations within Astrophytum meristema. In the next session, we might go to the plant shapes that are also affected by breathing. Thank you for listening. See you next time.